is newspaper picture editing team um, circulation over 100K. This is the best use of photography from two or more editors. Um, we have a note here to please include entries that represent three or more months out of the year, sort of a broad scope of their year. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's, that's it, apart from the technical guidelines of circulation and stuff like that. Got it. So it's a port team's portfolio. And it's every flavor of editing, features, sports, news, everything. Whatever okay. they deem was the best of their year. Okay. It's interesting, isn't it, to compare this to what we saw yesterday, their mm -hmm. coverage of Dante Wright and of Chauvin, because they're slightly different edits. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, what a year, man. What a year. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the last two years have been like yeah. a century <laughs> apiece. <laughs> We're just been a lot. You know, these historic turns twists and turns oh my god like yeah uh, i mean this has been going on for decades this is not the last two years yes. to your point yes you're right yeah. you're very right. true we're, so. we're just all paying attention because certain people finally woke up to it yep yeah. but like look at this this wasn't even included yesterday I yeah, it's yeah. So wonderful i thought that <laughs> yeah last night looking at this i was like damn i wish they That's had included I that too. i know I look at this. At it. it's like they let, yeah. left out a lot of stuff but i'm glad to see it here now yeah yeah me too look at this great sorry i, know. I shouldn't be <laughs> i assume it's because a lot of it is pickup but yeah mm. I, I think so mm. I kind of like hearing some of your uh, thoughts as, as you all are looking at this together. <laughs> that last than the silence. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, compared to what we saw yesterday from the Washington Post, like, like look at this. I mean, look, look at the difference. This. Yes. This is interesting. So, <laughs> so interesting to see the differences. Is that, yeah. a, is that another version of that? Or, or it's cropped. It's cropped. It's cropped. It's cropped. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. That crop is an interesting choice, isn't it? Yeah. It I don't is. know if I like it. This. I I know, I know. I thought I didn't see that yesterday. And I was like, okay, you guys mean business over here. Right, right. Well, they're at the epicenter, right, in Minneapolis. So. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I was really struck by some of the bold choices they made. Um, hmm. I think especially when it came to coverage of the insurrection. I think yesterday I was saying, like, you know, there were other pictures that could have more rightly illustrated the actual threat of violence and chaos right, right. and i think a lot of newspapers shied away from that like trying to play the middle um and i've really liked what i've seen from the star tribune of just being really upfront about calling a thing a thing well, i think in the yeah, layouts are so graceful too mm -hmm. yeah there were two or three um, stories they included before this olympics one that I thought were weaker, though. I thought they should have just left them out. Agreed. <laughs> but this, uh, but I, yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I'm a big a gymnastics fan. So, <laughs> yeah. So, I know, so adorable. So cute. They do I, love I, unconventional props, though. If I was a photo editor there, I would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Enough with the. <laughs> The long strippy crops. Oh my god, it would make me crazy. Yeah. You're thinking about that balloon, aren't you? You're still obsessed with that balloon, the hot air balloon. But overall, this feels like a really strong portfolio. Yeah, I yeah, thought it looked good too. It. Again, you know, there are some other really strong ones coming up, but yeah. Thought, but you know, just the fact that they were right there at the I, I, uh, I'm stuck on that Washington photo. Why that crop? I, I yeah, didn't like it. I was wondering about that. <laughs> it too. turned it into a very literal one yeah. dimensional photo for me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just to lose the guy going up the stairs, strange. Yeah. Well, I think honestly, that seems like a design over mm. overreach. Yeah. <laughs> overreach. Yeah. <laughs> sure does. All right. Let's look at the next one. All right.
That was interesting to see this whole story. Yeah. Okay. I've got so much purple in the story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, when you get to use color in a newspaper, you use it. Mm, yeah, sure. I thought it was interesting that they didn't put the word abortion on the front page, but. I also thought that was interesting that they put Kamala Harris as the larger picture because talking about the more historic idea of, you know, a woman of color coming into office and then made Biden the smaller picture. I think that's because it's a California paper. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, say, yes, yes, like, yes, of course. You're right. We've got home course. advantage. Right. Home yes. advantage. <laughs> We're going to just right. a full page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's really great getting to see um, the editing approaches of multiple newspapers, right? Especially when it comes to the same or similar stories, right? Uh, Struggling with the the globe overall, though. This the, there's just a lot of visual clutter for me. I mm -hmm. agree. I, I thought the layouts were not um, the best, but but I love that cover. It's like the cover that we just saw. Why oh, didn't they so enter good. that as the cover? You know, yeah. for magazine cover yeah. yesterday. Yeah. So I thought, good. why not? Oh, this is great. I know. Yeah. I thought it was so strong. Okay. Oh, great! A this, good majority this... of these images in here are. Yeah, I just thought the layout on some of the daily stories were really. Yeah. 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 You know, but even just the choices from those daily stories felt, uh, yeah, a little worn. Just, just, I just got right. the sense that it was like, like this is fabulous. It's Where was so it? good. Yeah. Uh huh. I want, I want to see this, this kind also. of discipline the rest of the publication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. I mean, you know, at so, so many places. Like, look at this. At so many places. Mm -hmm. You know they have completely different staffs, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean you yeah. can get. It's that so interesting size. when the when the pictures of the year are the images that aren't shown in mm -hmm. the newspaper throughout the year. Yeah. Right. Well, right. That's more the norm than not. Yeah, yeah, just sometimes saving them up and stuff. But... Yeah, I, I'm struggling with the globe because, well, with the globe and the San Francisco Chronicle, I feel like I like the image editing choices and the quality of the images I'm seeing in the globe, but I don't know how I feel about the layouts. Mm -hmm. And then with the Chronicle, I like the layouts, but I don't know how I feel about the photography. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like I said, it's like that visual clutter, it's like overly designed. Yeah. There's. There are moments where I feel like, you know, I'm looking at this thinking, use one picture, not four. Right. Mm -hmm, right. Right. But I think that's I really nice. don't like that last that last group. Uh -huh. right. I really don't like that those choices. Yeah. yeah. That front page, like, why do you have a fist raised twice? That image of the second, the last image with the 
fist raise is the same that they ran on the front page. But I think that last um, set of pictures was kind of a, a recap, you know, like a look back at the mm -hmm. year. So I think they incorporated images they've run before in that. And like that, you know, who is it? Julio Cortez, that AP, you know, that mm -hmm, ran mm -hmm. so many places, but. Yeah. I have to agree with Emily, though, because the race fist has become the visual shorthand of like protest mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. And I just like, it's you true. know, when you see that protest image that's in the magazine, give me more of that. Uh -huh, right. Show me that nuance, that texture. Yeah. Like, I want to see this thing that we see often, like Shaminder mentioned, from a different perspective. Right. right. That's a lot of raw emotion right there. Yes. <laughs> So. Well, and that choice for the um, the conviction two oh, images yes, that ran, yes. I just think it's like I know wrong. I, I, it's just wrong. Which one? It, oh. it makes it about a two single people. It, I I don't like it. Wait, which one? Because I yeah. actually the loved front page. Uh -huh. This one, guilty guilty verdict brings relief. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of the Star oh. Tribune. I was thinking of the Star Tribune. Oh, the Star uh -huh. Tribune, I think, did yeah, a really great yeah. job with that. Yeah. And in comparison, this is just. Uh -huh. Oh, they use that same uh, show photo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting. We were talking about that yesterday in one of the other ones. Yep. Right. Right. Anyway. Gosh, I. Whoever their magazine designers are, they need to collaborate with the uh, <laughs> the print the print side yeah, a little more. <laughs> with the um, daily side. Mm -hmm. I almost feel I I actually would be curious to know like what is happening there because I feel like maybe the photo editors are doing their part, but something mm -hmm. is not clicking with collaborating with your the other part of the newsroom. Yeah. I mean, there's also times like virus stalks. I don't understand what those images are. Virus stocks heartland of holdouts. Yeah. I don't Swear we understand what I'm looking oh, at. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's because and the that... guy holding his arms like that in yeah. front of the it's just I think a it's people clunky. who don't believe in COVID. Yeah, they're anti-vaxxers in Branson. I had to use a magnifying mm. glass to try to look at the phone. But yeah, <laughs> for me again, like that's it's a lot of visual shorthand, like. You know, it's like who you expect to be an anti-vaxxer, where you expect that mm -hmm. that kind right. of sentiment to right. exist. Where's, why where's, is a car like, in front gosh. of a wax, wax museum? I, like, I, I don't know. But it's I'm true. Where That's actually it? the one photo in the set I actually like. I like <laughs> yeah. it, but I don't yeah. if I saw that. It's like... I, <sighs> it no, but to, to Oriana's point, it's like, where's the surprise, right? So, mm. But... I mean, I just gave them credit for getting outside of Boston, too, though. <laughs> hey, you, that's a good point. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> uh -huh. But, you know, that's another page where I look at and think, why are there these three photos all stacked on top of each other? Like, mm -hmm. like that's not the best presentation. Yeah. Mm, uh -huh. yeah. Especially when the sizes are all so close to each other. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, my God, we still haven't moved, though. Yeah, we should probably there are more to look, look yeah, at. Well, right? there's, yeah. yeah, a lot more. <laughs> oh, Wall Street Journal. So I thought this was interesting that they submitted a mix of print and digital, right? For this set. Seems like These it. Look yeah. Like, yeah, because the hamburger. Yeah, because they're the screenshots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. I do. I should probably check on eligibility for that real quick. Because all of these screenshots are effectively like double trucks. I mean, they mm -hmm. function in the portfolio mm -hmm. that way. So, well, not this one, but that's interesting. It's like a a square like it was a screenshot from a phone maybe yeah oh i don't know yeah how they and i was not crazy about this picture <laughs> it's like what does this mean exactly i was honestly pretty meh on this <laughs> yeah portfolio. i looked at that and was like whoa uh. 
I mean, but <laughs> what do you do with that assignment though? They say make computers look sexy. Well, what about, or how, well, tech is changing sex, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. I, for me, the picture of the man standing with his arms crossed on a green forest is like, that's- Oh, the, the, that the I, first one in that row. Yeah. What about that? Sorry. Just. That image. Uh -huh. I think it's uh, is that him in the left and him now? Is that I idea? think so. Mm -hmm. I need so I need some clarity on. Um, are we only looking at print, or is the digital side of this something we should also be considering? Yeah, I'm a little I, unclear on that. It's confusing. For yeah. Sure. So I just asked. I I think there might be some murkiness because the Wall Street Journal is a newspaper. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll let you know what folks say because it sounds like it's hard to compare apples and oranges. Well, there is a digital category later, right? There exactly. is. Right. Yeah, right. that's kind of why I'm wondering. Because if you remove all that, team, there's not much left. The team works across platforms. Is that the concept here? I would imagine like so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Huh. If y'all don't mind, yeah, moving to the next one and I'll yeah. let you know what I hear back. Sure. I mean, what do you, what do you all think? I'm just curious. I mean, I think I need to know the intention of the digital category, if that's yeah. where this is supposed to live or is this fair game? I feel like it depends more on the rules and categories set by BOP, you know, because yeah. I'm not clear on exactly what the you know the different uh, divisions are between the categories so yeah I, th I think the division was meant it's sort of like an arbitrary division in order to make the judging clearer because it more is more comparable yeah, yeah sure exactly so yeah. if that is the case i i don't i don't believe that would be counted but i just want to double check before we make that decision okay your favorite <laughs> I know. <laughs> really. Well, it's the same front page. Yeah, exactly. I also thought it was interesting that the New York Times put in those kind of header, you know, um, slides to separate, you know. You know, I have to say on this story, if they had used only the larger images mm -hmm. i would have liked mm -hmm. it so much more but you know when they start throwing in all these little ones i just start to glaze over but i thought mm -hmm. they did a good job of selecting which images should be large you know mm -hmm. i loved this project yeah <laughs> stared i love at the idea but time. it's just overwhelming you know just so many i do agree that i think like it could have taken maybe a tighter edit but i also just like the profusion. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Uh, I think also just like thinking of this of the sitters and like knowing that these are basically everyday people who don't often get this kind of um, reverence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was that last layout that I was like, oh, I, when I was, I was feeling the fatigue in that one that had like lots of little ones without much context. Fatigue is a good word for it because I just couldn't see anymore, you know, after a while. But yeah, I love some of the larger ones. But I think I agree with you guys. Like if it had four less pages. Mm -hmm, or right. just some, you know, some people could have had pull quotes. You know, you can, there's a way to build texture More without identity. having to see a portrait yeah. each time you know mm -hmm. and this was a really interesting project i love the project but you know when you see it digitally i did see it remember seeing yeah. it online before it's, it just oh, has yeah. so Digital. much more it was so yeah. much richer I agree. And, I agree. Yeah. and this is yeah. just all like crammed in there yeah know, so. that's exactly how i was feeling i, I wanted too. to love this so much more but the online yeah. version is just so, there so much so better much yeah richer yeah so i guess black and white was like hot last year huh 
<laughs> I guess so. Feels like it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, high key Which lights I... on its way out. So black and white's on its way back in. I, you know, Wait, I'm a black its... and white aficionado. I, I love <laughs> I was yeah, like, yeah, high key lights on its way out. Oh, high key. Black and white's on its way. Everything's cyclical. It's fashion. Yeah, right. <laughs> Speaking of black and white, remember we all went through that era of analog film being like the hot thing for a little bit. Yes, I think yes. that's still happening, actually. I oh, think wow. so too. And I look at oh, look. Stopped. Wait, wait. Can we stop? Go back to that last one. So if you look at it. Um, oh wow! So then yeah. you can see how they cropped it, right? On yeah. The... This bottom I actually picture like the crop a lot right better. Here. Yeah, me yeah. too. Why wasn't that? Why didn't that run as an A one cover? The bottom right. Yeah, instead yeah, of the picture of the people scaling the wall. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I think the part of it was that in that moment when this was all happening, there was a lot of questions we were all asking about. Do we call this an insurrection or an evade? Like, what do we even call it? Even the AP wasn't really clear on what we should call it. I mean, you don't call it a protest. Right, right. but nobody no. was really clear <laughs> right. on that. And so, when a bunch of people yeah. are breaking into the Capitol, yeah. fighting hurting people it's definitely not a protest and it's, it's like, definitely right. not a riot more like attempted coup right so, it's like it wasn't right. really hard to call the thing the thing it really <laughs> so that's was. what i'm saying like the entire industry we were all for about a week not really calling it what it is because of this debate over what's the word to use right it's largely yeah. because of the people involved that's but valid. just looking at that picture on the upper right you know we've seen it in three different crops now right so yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so interesting, right? Yeah, it is. We're very lucky. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> got to see it crop properly once. <laughs> right, right. Okay, sorry, let's keep going. I, just, no. I don't think I've seen that one in the bottom with the morgue before. Yeah, that's the yeah, one I was just going to comment on. Yeah. I thought that was beautiful. And I couldn't read the credit when I was trying the other day, but uh, I think it's like a little night. cropped out. Dr. Mel, East Los Angeles. I can't. Who is it? Brianna Hernandez, an apprentice and bomber at a funeral home popular with working class Mexican Americans. Virus cases overwhelmed it. That's that a weird way to write it. Right. Hell of a photo. Sorry, yeah, I thought it was amazing. Who was the photographer? Uh, I was looking last night and I just I don't couldn't. think it says. I think it's, it's Alex. I think it's Alex, at the end. Alex. Alex Wu, I think. Or Wei, W-E-I, maybe? Is it Welsh? I, was, I see Alex Welsh. Oh, as well. oh, is it Alex Welsh? Oh, Alex yeah. Welsh. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Okay, that's really beautiful. I didn't know he was in LA. <laughs> hmm. I'll update. Yeah, my... I like his work. Yeah, me too. Hmm. It's another really great one. I really miss world news. Wait, so go back. This is there. the last one. To that front page. That front the... page, yeah. So yeah. here we go. We, we have Trump mobs towards the Capitol. And it's, I'm assuming it's the day after. So, is it? I mean, I would assume so. But know. let's see. But that is not scaling the wall. They actually called it what it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the day after. No. President incites crowds to acts of insurrection. But not the greatest. <laughs> no, it's kind of a complicated read there. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Oh. 
Oh, this photograph. That's a great cover. Wow. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why wow. is this injured? I know they never should, they never <laughs> entered it. Wonderful. Yeah. So huh. So much stronger than the one they submitted, huh? Yep. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> My thoughts exactly. <laughs> it's funny how we were all thinking it. <laughs> and yet. <laughs> You have filters. <laughs> <laughs> I really love this story too. Yeah, that was a nice that's a story. story. Well, that's in the portfolio of the single photo editor, right? We right. saw that yesterday. I think so. This right. as well. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. It was. So. That's what was interesting too, to see what uh, was included for the individual photo editor entry and what was left out. Like this was in and other things were left out. But. <laughs> this is doing some really, really great magazine work. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, was say, I see you mm -hmm. all. all right, all right. Yeah. Oh, in this story. Oh, right. This one. Oh, could you go back for a second? Yeah, go, go, yeah. Okay. go back to that. That's I was really glad to see choices. that. Is that is that, that uh, Hannah Yoon story? I've gotten. I think. About the shootings in yeah. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. It is Hannah's work. That is I such really an interesting choice. This. Yeah, it was. I thought it was a really nice song. Uh, I think I saw it digitally. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it in print. But they I feel like I've never seen a newspaper make these choices. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? Just that like overall, mm -hmm. there's so. just, it's be, it's uh, working as a collage instead of as a as individual images really. Right, because they're so impressionistic yeah. too. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah they, it's they like an op-ed almost. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. okay. I mean, that was more of a magazine edit in a newspaper. It was. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. what it feels like. It's yeah, true. Yeah. It's true. This was the one where, you know, you feel like they put out a call, they had people send it in, and then they were like, what do we do with this assortment of <laughs> images yeah. Yeah. from all these different photographers? Yeah. I think it worked. I remember seeing it online, mm -hmm. and I think it worked better online. That's probably true. The presentation is completely different. But I also thought it could have used a stronger edit. Agreed. That's like that story that we saw about the transformation. I thought it was so kind of haphazard or almost random, but yeah, you know, with some really wonderful images, but also some that just seem repetitive or didn't make sense. Yeah. Are we looking at images of the pictures of the year now? Oh, yeah, yeah, from the post. From the post. Uh -huh. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. yeah. Even that transformation package, though, I did appreciate the, the big swing they took. Like, yeah, what they I were like trying they to do, it. I appreciated. Right, exactly. The execution wasn't quite there. Yeah, that's so. Are these all here. post pictures? Did the post take this one? No, I think it's a you know a collection. It's a collection, it's a right? Zoom, I thought that was yeah. AP. I think they included. Same. you know from other sources i think, no, I think that's why well, no, it's for the post yeah but oh, i mean hey. I, my impression for a lot of these best of or pictures of the year is that they often include pictures that are not just made by their own photographers mm. right okay so but, i mean some of these if these are of the post pictures there's some know. that are just some of my favorite pictures of the year yeah I, I feel like the dc stuff though the post has to own DC. They're not going to use wire. Yeah. Yeah. They should have. They should have. I don't know, though. It's a pretty strong portfolio. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would explain why they ran that uh, mm -hmm. gun picture in the lead space. Yeah. Right. Right. Because so few people were inside, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You ready for the round? Oh, sorry. Thanks. It's just hard, you know, every year the Post and the Times, I mean, they just so dominate so much. Yeah. 
I'm going to do in Minneapolis and isn't hanging in there for me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, no, I, 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 I was yeah. really impressed with that Star Tribune and, portfolio. Yeah. yeah, I agree. And so. I'm sorry, but I feel like San Francisco gets a seat at the table. Why, why, are, why are you sorry? <laughs> <laughs> why are you apologizing? Like, because I live here. <laughs> I should be recusing myself. Hmm. But it's true. They were smart in the way that they picked what they submitted to because they submitted the stories that had depth, you know? Mm -hmm. I, that, this is an out for me. Well, we got six. Should we do the ins and outs? Yeah, let's do a round of ins and outs from the top. So Star Tribune and in, in, in. 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 I would put them up top too. Yeah. I'm not sure two. I feel in. that way, but. I'll not necessarily in. the first, but. No, yeah, they're in my top two as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's do ins and outs first. All right. Out for me. In. I'll go in. In. Mm -hmm. Out. 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 Yeah. Out. Out. In. 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 That was labored. Yeah, in. it just seems like in. In. In, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So we're down to right, four, I believe. Four. So now we just got to pick an order. Yeah, I'm not clear. I feel like I have to see them maybe in context sheet again to make that determination. I think I know my top three. Spill it. I feel like this would go in the top three. But So the Star it Tribune, uh -huh. second, Washington uh -huh. Post, first. Interesting. Um, New York Times third. Interesting. Some of the crops on this portfolio, though, just really are 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 bold choices. Let's say. You know what I like about this portfolio, though? I, I think it's what we just said a second ago. It's the story selection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't see the pictures of the year portfolio. Like, you know, everyone entered a picture yeah. of the year except this one. Yeah. yeah. Do they have one? I don't know. I think they do. I mean, I think that's what the other thing I like about the Cron is that they are covering stories that we aren't seeing everywhere else that's true mm -hmm. these are not just local stories but they're local stories that are linked to a larger national conversation mm -hmm. and they're finding a way to tell them visually yeah using the, the bay area i mean i think mm -hmm. the times does the new york times does that um yeah. because they're the new york times and they're in new york and they have the money and da, 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 da. but we don't have and the and the star tribune did that kind of but all of the image you know what they were were sending us were the national stories mm -hmm. discussing the national stories and well for them i, I find the national the story is a local story yeah i was going to say that i don't think they really had a choice that their local news became national news yeah this particular year anyway yeah But I take your point though, like the Chronicle portfolios is, is what is, is kind of like really ingrained in our community, right? The local news, the lo like diving deeper, not just. Well, it's what I like, that is what I want from. I'm sorry, can we go back to the end of the New York Times? I kind of just missed seeing the end of the New York Times. Yeah, that's great. You know, a part of me <laughs> kind of wants to make a rule that you cannot include foot pictures of the year. <laughs> I mean, it's like the best yeah. photos of my year and I get to have complete control over the layout. Like if you mess that up, you really messed it up. Mm -hmm. But is that an well, accurate a portrayal? Soul, but is that like an accurate portrayal of your three months of work? 
I mean, it's just a different muscle, mm. right? It's like a different job title kind of. Thank you. I mean, there's some, I can't, this music, aging musician thing. Yeah, this is my least favorite <laughs> in this. Yeah. yeah. I'm basically just ignoring it, honestly. <laughs> <sighs> well, I mean, we see portfolios sometimes, right? Where like one story is, why did they right, put that yeah. in there? But yeah, right. does that torpedo the entire entry? I mean, with the quality of work here, again, I'm just ignoring that aging musician yeah. story. And I think if there were a couple one? more, then I'd be like, bleh, but... Mm -hmm. The opioid and um, epidemic tone mm. poem. I actually really like this. I like the chances it's taking, and, and you don't see this a lot. Yeah. And I think just about every major newspaper had a moment of let's do these like creative, poetic sorts of still lives that depict the pandemic or um mm. you know something about covid and i feel like out of the ones i've seen this one's probably the most successful for me i think this one's my front runner same <laughs> heads and shoulders I think yep. they did a better job of editing their submission than the Times did. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to nominate that for first, if anybody. I will wants. second that nomination. I could go with that. But then are we serious about making the Star Tribune second? I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm debating. Yeah, I'm still debating too. Just to go back to that real quick, since there were two strong Washington Post as first and two not strong, maybe dis maybe agreements. Was there another one you all wanted to put up for first to compare? I mean, I was still sort of struggling between the Times and the Post, but but I do think that the Post overall just seemed like a tighter submission. Agreed. So, okay. In that case, it sounds like there's a three consensus. This is where it's. I mean, you know, this is this is probably going to be controversial. But I love it when you start that way. Yeah, I really <laughs> preface it. I'm like, get ready. But but I actually think I think my uh, second and third have changed. Oh. And I think uh -huh. I want to see the Chronicle at second place and Star Tribune at third place. Hmm. I'm not sure I would agree with that. But. Again, I knew it was going to be controversial. I like, <laughs> it's not that I don't like what I'm seeing from the New York Times and it's not yeah. that they are not absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just going to be pretty expected that the Times places in the top three. And I think the work that the Star Tribune did was really admirable. There are definitely some things I'm not a fan of overall, but I think I like the boldness and some of the the choices that they made um over some of the choices that the times made but what about the star tribune i thought they were the ones we were talking about for a second yeah so I, i'm saying like my uh -huh. my top or my bottom two have changed and oh, that I, I would see, prefer I see. to see okay. the um the san francisco oh, chronicle chronicle as third so no as second oh as second. second yeah uh -huh. and star tribune as third oh, i see okay all right, this is, everybody's going to hate me for this, but can we just scroll through all the context sheets again, just quickly? I'm sorry. No, no I was apologize. actually going to ask to see the, this one okay. again, too, so. Yeah, sorry, sorry. We're, we're I, just together. knowing kind of what we've been talking about, it would really help me. I mean, it's, you know, the Star Tribune submitted a single story, basically. You know, the, the struggle I'm having with this one, though, is 
there, there are these little, as I'm watching, there's like parts that go, ooh, why? Oh, I wish that didn't happen, or I'm not sure why. And then just, they're stacking up. There's enough of these that I'm going, you know, I, I don't know if that was a wise decision. I mean, then there's things like how they, how they cover the insurrection. So can, what day was that? Can you, can you zoom in on what day that is? That's the seventh, right? Yeah. Or no? Yeah, uh, that's seventh, the seventh. Yeah. Yeah, the seventh. seventh. The day. Uh -huh. So this right. is their choice for the opener mm -hmm. of the seventh. And frankly, I think this is like better than the Times. Agreed. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I think it might even be better than the Washington Post. Agreed. So, okay, so this is how they're covering this specific story. I also think the next page from the man, if you could go through, I think this is fabulous. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I love it's the way really the placement strong. of that opening image yep. is great. Mm -hmm. And then the um, punctuation of the guy with the foot on the table, on I the think it's yep. great. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those are those three images, the, 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 the header. And the guy the hanging, guy, yeah. They're all the images that were everywhere. Right, you know, right. They were all over TV, uh -huh. they were all over every website, yeah. Twitter, yeah. everything. Uh -huh. But you didn't really see them in that's the, many of that's our major newspapers. Part. Yeah. Um, well, you I, saw the the Washington Post gave a full page to the guy hanging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that picture to me, <clears throat> especially, <clears throat> excuse me, knowing what we know after the fact is, for me, is the better of the two images of people hanging from mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the building. I agree. I agree. Primarily because you later find out that this person is a part of like, a stealth team that essentially was going to come in hmm. and harm the people who are supposed to be making, you know, final, final say, final count about um, Biden winning the presidency. And so for me, when I think about the struggle that newspapers have had in accurately reporting the history of this, um, again, just seeing the decisions that the Star Tribune made they just seem to have a much clearer sense of this was an insurrection. This was a serious um, violation of our democracy and it needs to be in the historic record as such. And to not see a newspaper like the New York Times take um, a more decisive um, approach in terms of calling a thing a thing, I think is also something to consider that's important. I agree, but I also think that with the Post and the Times, you know, they have to use their um, yeah. exclusive coverage. You know, mm -hmm. they have access and they got some really amazing moments. That's what they've got to go with, you know? Yeah. So they can't go with what everybody else has got. So I mean, that was the Star Tribune lucked out on that level. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, <laughs> they had a bigger pool to take. <clears throat> uh -huh. But I guess what I'm saying is like looking at this, a lot, this is the, these are their choices, mm -hmm. whether or not it was because they could dip into a larger pool or not. Mm -hmm. or exclusive I think these choices are stronger. For me, this puts the Star Tribune, for me, my choices would be Star Tribune, San Francisco Chronicle, and then I don't, either the Times or the Post. I, I agree with that. I, I can still get down feel like Star that. Tribune I'm is more struggling. second. Yeah, I feel Star Tribune still feels more like second, partly because of, oh, didn't they have the Branson story? <laughs> but anyway, we could keep going. Or was that, no, no, that, was Boston? Boston. that was Boston? Boston. Yeah, okay. Well, let's keep going through the context sheets. That's what one reason I wouldn't wanted to look. Yeah, and I was gonna say, we're gonna take a break. I'm sorry, did we finish? Oh, I'm sorry. Did we finish going through the Tribune? I don't think we did. Yeah. I'm gonna make us take a break no matter what in 10. So let's okay. either, let's either try to rank or we'll we'll return to this after that. Sure, whatever. I mean, just look at some of the, you know, this seems so strong to me, you know, but anyway, and I, I know you're trying to make it first, so I'm just um, endorsing that, but I still not sure it is first, but. I don't, I don't think it's I mean, first. even just the cropping, I mean, the way that the post cropped that image of the statue with the head shroud. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to just echo Emily Kay's um, top three, because that's my top three, too. So you're, you 
are both saying you think this could be a first because wait could, i'm sorry could you stop right there the look at that row you know of two right before the olympics thing if we just scroll up one row i mean i just feel like and again i know it's just the choices in their submission but other than that noose hanging which i thought was very you know had a strong impact some of the others i don't know i just felt like they should not even have submitted them you know that's what i'm feeling too that's, that's kind of what I, I was thinking as I case, go through it. That's the case for yeah. everyone's portfolio. But then I see, I see that, and then I'm like, aging musician. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I think for this one, I think it's a question yeah. of how many notches are piling up for me. Right. And mm, that's what's right. keep That keeps it out of first for me, at least. I know that much for myself. Yeah. That's a little bit what I'm feeling. Um, but I do think that a lot of the initial you know front pages and it, you know coverage of the turmoil in minneapolis i just thought was incredibly strong but they had that home field advantage you know you know i also wonder if there's a psychological component here where because of what we saw yesterday compared to what we're seeing today we're just like blown away by like the stuff we didn't see oh uh -huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh, right that would have an impact too but but i still think it's very deserving you know I'm sorry, you can keep scrolling. Thank you very much. I also wanted to just throw out the reminder, I feel like I'm being beating a dead horse, but like reminder that you guys are weighing most heavily picture editing. So like selection, mm -hmm. sequencing. Thank you for that reminder. Yep. Restraint. So, so, so that last one. I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to the Star Tribune just real quick for that last, <laughs> very last spread. Just, um, uh -huh. I found that spread to be very repetitive. The very last one. Mm -hmm. With the kids. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just, uh, I mean, if we're talking about the photo editing, right? Like to me, it just feels we've got five images that say the same thing. And they don't really tell me a story. It's just snapshots of, of, of what looks like a parade. I mean, there's some variation in terms of, I don't know, scale and, but I mean, I see what you're saying, but I thought that's what the story was about, so. <laughs> okay, should we keep going? I just thought they were smart in how they um, selected what to submit. You know, they just went with their depth, kind of. I don't know. So this feels stronger to me than the Tribune. I think there's there's. Well, more... they have a better layout. I feel like that's they have like way better design. It's cleaner. They yeah. just they just left out a lot of the kind of mundane daily kind of stuff you know, but um, which, mm -hmm. which is a good portfolio, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. But I still think the Tribune had some amazing coverage. But anyway, sorry, can we move on to either the post or the times? I know we only have like six minutes left. <laughs> And if you don't mind, we could scroll quickly through that um, essential workers portfolio. Yeah. I think we all kind of know that pretty well. Okay, thank all you. All so 400 much. pages of it. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, thank I you. feel like the Times was bloated this year. Okay, I feel I like. I, I think I know I, my rank now. I feel good about my, my rank. Do you want to tell us what it is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna go with uh, um, Washington first, Chronicle second, and Trib third, and honorable mention for the Times. Oh. I'm not sure the Times gets an honorable mention. I have to agree on that. 
frankly, they're, they're winning everything else. So like, yep. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't think they need like an extra nudge here and there. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. From, Although I do appreciate them tremendously. Well, I think we have to judge them on their merits. We can't, we can't say, well, they're the times they, they win everything. Right. No, no. I mean, I, I like, I'm not sure that, that what they gave us is like mm -hmm. something that I'm drawn to. A lot of the stories that I'm not drawn to, they submitted for this, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I'm fine with giving them an honorable mention, sure. Yeah, I, I don't think they need an honorable mention in this. Their portfolio, quite frankly, was bloated. Um, and I feel like as them being the times, like I was expecting a tighter edit from them. There is a lot of good work in that portfolio, but it's kind of the same issue I had with the, um, the Curious Magazine. Don't throw everything at me. Oh, I've forgotten about that Afghanistan essay in this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and call us just a couple of minutes early for the break, if that's all right with everyone. Could I just express my uh, ranking? Because I think I know now. Yeah. So for me, it's the Washington Post first, the Star Tribune second, the Times third, and honorable mention for the Chronicle. That's my, you know, impression from this last go round. But, but I could spend lunch hour looking on pictures. And, can you all do me a favor? How, what do you think about putting in our picture editing channel your your rankings? And then we'll come back to this after. Sure. The on screen. Slack, you mean? On Slack? Yep. OK, sure. So just do one, two, three, honorable mention. Um, OK. Just so I don't forget what we're talking about. And we can pick back up on that. Um, that would be great. And I might take a quick look on picture before I actually enter it, but I'm pretty sure yeah. that's my instinct. Yeah, so. go ahead. And I'm gonna, let's go ahead and take like a half hour break so that folks can actually sure. eat lunch and stuff. So us on the West Coast are not 10 o'clock and one o'clock. Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. And, oh yeah, sorry about that guys. Um, so we're gonna lock in the Washington Post for first award. Um, that seemed to be a consensus across all four of you. And then let's see, we have for second, we have two votes for the Chronicle and two votes for the Star Tribune. Um, so I'd love to have y'all duke that out first. And it does sound like they're, yeah, I guess I, we can go from there if that works for everyone. Can we just look at them? Wait, is there yeah. a waffle recipe? Hold on, first things first. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> well, we'll look, at, we'll look at them in picture side by side, whatever you want to do on your phone or personal computer in terms of looking at waffle recipes, <laughs> uh, feel free. <laughs> And reminder, you all are judging weighing hev heaviest on photo editing choices and on this portfolio alone in the context of, of its category. So I I did not make this my second, but I, but I really wanna hear from the people who did. So talk me through what, what you're seeing. Oriana, do you want to go ahead? I mean, I thought I made my case for the Star <laughs> Tribune. Like, I, I am just, I'm really taken by the, the selection, um, or the image selection. I don't want to necessarily say risk, but I just think that they made decisions that very much. Um, clarify the news while also using really great pictures. Um, I do have some slight issues with layout, but they're so minor for me um, that 
I'm not like bristling at it. I'm, I'm really just more intrigued by the quality of the imagery that I'm seeing here that feels very consistent to me um, and fresh in a way that I don't necessarily feel for some of the other um, portfolios. I just thought, you know, in um, making a direct comparison with uh, the Chronicle that my own personal feeling is that the Chronicle did a really great job of editing their submission and that they had very strong stories that they sent in for their submission. But I kind of wanted to see more, you know, I felt as if there was just more heft to the um, Star Tribune entry. And even though personally, I thought they had two or three spreads, I would have dropped from their entry, the Star Tribune, they could have trimmed it. Um, I just thought that they had many examples of truly affecting kind of, um, you know, these moments. And as I said, you know, they had the home field advantage and that so much of the the world's news really was going on on their doorstep, you know, what was in everyone's consciousness. Um, but I thought they did a great job and that they not always, but for the most part, avoided just really familiar kinds of images that we've seen before. But, and I just thought like, look at that top image here. You know, they're just some really, I don't know, slightly unexpected, but also just affecting, um, images that had a lot of impact for me. Yeah. Um, I think where I'm struggling is uh -huh. the unevenness of the portfolio. Like when they get it right, they get it really right. But there are at least three stories in here that I wonder why they're in here. Um, and when I look at the Chronicles edit, it's just so tight that I'm like, that's part of your portfolio edit. Like editing doesn't just stop right here. It's, it, it keeps going through the whole process. And, and then there's stuff like this where I just can't figure out, and maybe it's, a, it's, it's subjective at the end of the day, right? But for me, this picture just does not work at all. And then moments like these, right? When they get it right, they get it really right. So Shamanbar and Emily, like what's, could you provide your arguments for the Chronicle then over the Tribune? I think the thing with the Chronicle is just that I find their package just a lot more cohesive and tight and well thought out. Like the layouts make sense to me. The photo selection makes a lot of sense. Even just like that page right there with the purple, like that's intentional. You know, somebody made that choice to think about how the reader is going to interact with this layout and what helps keep the story going, but also keeps you engaged and wanting to like stay on this page. And that's that triptych not... is really great too. Yeah, exactly. And so there's a lot of little tricks that are happening that together are building something bigger. And, and I think, you know, this, this portfolio only has 16 pages. The other one I think has something like 30 something, so almost twice as many. And I, and I kind of find myself thinking like if the other package had trimmed the fat a little bit, it would be much stronger. And this to me is just, is just a stronger portfolio. I mean, during the break, I had this feeling that actually if I were to do this through my, if I were to think, I had this feeling that actually what I would want is to have Star Tribune and Chronicle up at the top first and second not really sure which one's first and second, and the third being the Washington Post. And here's why. The, this Chronicle submission and the, um, and, and I don't think that that's gonna happen because I know that we you all feel like the Washington Post should be first and I'm, I understand why that would be the case. But I feel like the, the Star Tribune and the Chronicle are doing two things really well and they're actually doing two separate things. That, these are showcasing two different parts of what a photo editor does, right? The New York, the Star Tribune is really talking about what national stories, what the national stories and how they're interpreting them using the same formula as all the other newspapers, right? So they, they have the January 6th, they submitted January 6th, they submitted 
all the stuff about um, uh, uh, George Floyd. I mean, partially that's because it was happening in their local news, but I also see the, the Olympics. I mean, all of those things are about the national story. What the San Francisco Chronicle is saying is the national stories are very important to us and we're gonna find a very localized story to articulate those. And that is a very different form of thinking about the news and delivering the news and thinking about their audience. What I don't like about the Washington Post is they have an audience, they are a local paper. They submitted very few local stories, if any at all. And the one that they did was the insurrection. And I think we all agreed that the insurrection packages that they delivered were subpar, including the ones from yesterday, which I know weren't part of this portfolio. And I realize that's not fair to enter those in. Um, so for me, if I'm looking at what a local paper does, the San Francisco Chronicle is hitting it out of the park. And the Star Tribune is doing a really excellent job as well, but they're interest is clearly a more national is is to discuss things more nationally in a kind of typical national way um so yeah i guess i like i give it to you to decide which one you want to celebrate with this award is it the local paper that is digging in deep to the local community or is it the local paper that when a lo when a national story is local they showcase it really well but they are primarily you know like look at the front pages of both of them the front pages that are coming from the star tribune are about the big stories that are being i mean covered. it just happens That's a that, great argument but it just happens that a lot of the big stories were local stories for the star tribune and then they took something like the tokyo olympics and they made it exactly what you said you know they did a local story by focusing on sumi lee you mm -hmm. know and um, looked at her to talk about the olympics so um i feel like they did do some of the things that you talked about i mean it's also the it's it's your promise to your audience and, and the relevancy that you're trying to create for them and so they each paper does have their different mandates depending on who they're trying to speak to I just wish with the Chronicle that they're, I, even though I admire the fact that they were very tight on editing their submission, and I think generally that is a good thing, I just would have liked to see a little bit more, you know? Um, I, I, I agree with so that to a point, yes. Like, I'm sorry, it, Oriana, what did you say? I said, this is so hard, because actually when I looked at this last night, um, mm -hmm. Just thinking about what Emily said, my initial instinct was to focus a bit more on the Star Tribune and the San Francisco Chronicle, mm -hmm. because I felt like they were doing things that they were doing things as well as these major national papers with a ton of eyes, a ton of support, um, and sometimes better than those papers, and. I think what Emily said about like, who is it that we want to celebrate, you know, by awarding a place is what came to the forefront of my mind. Um, like, and, you know, maybe this is naive of me and this also shows um, my lack of, of expertise because I've not ever worked in a newsroom. Um, but I kind of like, I expected really good, strong images and editing from the New York Times and from the Washington Post. That's what they do. Um, I was really surprised by the strength of the editing and the decisions that were being made at both the Chronicle and the Star Tribune. Um, and I think for that reason, when I was looking at this last night, I was like, these two are clearly my favorites just because I think they're taking risks in ways that I think maybe the New York Times and the Washington Post don't often feel like they can take. And I kind of want to see my newspapers do that, especially visually. Um, so if I were being frank in terms of ranking, if it were left up to me, 
it would be Star Tribune at first place, San Francisco Chronicle at second place, and then I wouldn't award third place or honorable mention. But I know I, that that's going to be incredibly unpopular. Well, no, I don't think so at all. But I do have to say that I don't think it's fair to penalize that post and the Times for being as iconic institutions when they've invested so much over the years and still have maintained you know, such a high level of quality through the last two years of the pandemic. Yeah, right? I'm not looking at it as, as them being penalized so much as I'm looking at it as like, mm -hmm. you know, how do we also honor the other newspapers in our nation that are doing really, really fantastic work that yeah. don't necessarily oh, get the kind of um, right. attention that mm -hmm. the newspapers that we, yeah, you know, like yeah. it's, it, it's not going to hurt the New York Times or the Washington Post if they don't place here i mean i, I love the washington agree. some of those uh -huh. washington post stories are like they're fantastic incredible i think yeah. that I, I i i am as i've said before i am totally for putting the star and the cron up in the top two i would then put the washington post in the third and honorable mention for the times um i think if we just look at I mean, what a great way to do it is just for me is to look at the insurrection coverage, how each played it, obviously with the time, the Chronicle sitting out on that. Um, you know, that just is like, for me, that's Star Tribune followed by Washington Post, followed by uh, New yeah, York Times we, for that. Uh, can we look at that Washington Post one again? Because I think we're, I think we're gonna shortchange them here a little bit if we try to isolate only certain stories and trying yeah, to compare who did it better. I mean, uh -huh. you know, like, look, if you look at this entire set, Washington is doing a lot of very good editing. You yeah, know, it's not that's just, true. it's not just a selection of like, well, you know, we're not I mean, they're also like giving it. us a magazine here, right? You know, that's a, a very different sensibility Format. yeah yeah, yeah. and ability yeah. here i mean f that means that you get pages that are a single image yeah um but you know it's they a also completely included, different format but they also do include stuff like the uh, like the afghanistan story which is yeah that one's dynamite yeah. that one's I'm sorry dynamite. which which story schminter this one right here the afghanistan story oh right uh -huh, uh -huh. you know so if you're comparing apples mm -hmm. to apples right like mm -hmm. they are showing up and they're and yes, they are the big dog, but they're doing the work. Yeah, I yeah. agree too. I agree too. And I just wanna, yeah, I just wanna push you all to, to, to be considering them in their own context, but also find, I mean, I don't think it would hurt to find ways to try to compare a little more apples to apples since they are different papers, but definitely focusing in on the photo editing choices here, both for the portfolio and the individual stories. Mm -hmm. um, and it also sounds like if, if there's people who want to award all of these in different in different categories, let's take advantage of all four of these categories then and make sure each of them plays somehow and be um, inclusive here is, is, is how I would encourage you all to be looking at these. I mean, if I, mean, I took away the mastheads yeah. on all these entries and I just look at photo selection, mm -hmm. you know, how do photos pair with each other, the sequences, you know, is there, is, is there smart approaches happening here? Remove who did it. This still stands above the other two for me. Yeah, and that's how I feel too, is if, you know, I, as much as I want to celebrate what the Star Tribune and the Chronicle are doing, I just feel like I just want to look at kind of the results, you know, it's what Emily um, Jay was saying yesterday, you know, we can talk all about the circumstances and the impact and the effects of what we award, but when it comes down to it, I, I just want to look at what's actually there, you know, um, and for me, the post still stands out, you know, that set of images that they edited and the layout that they did on that, um, piece about the Asian Americans in Atlanta after the shootings. I thought that was just beautiful, you know? So. Yeah, I mean, we all paused on that one. Yeah, so I just feel like 
if you look at the entirety of each entry, the post to me still has the strongest overall consistency and just strengths, you know? You know, and, and for me, because I'm thinking of it this way, like one of you said earlier that the New York Times portfolio felt bloated and it was that, when you guys said that, that's when it dropped lower for me because it, I agree, it does feel bloated, but I'm not trying to base it on like, well, they are the big dog or they have more resources. Right. It's purely just on, yeah, you know, you're right. That portfolio was bloated and I agree. Yeah. 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 Well, I thought it really hurt them that they include, that they just, that one section on essential workers, I know Oriana liked having all of those images, but just too much for me. I mean, I like that. I like that story um, yeah, a yeah. lot. And there are other categories in which I think that story should place somewhere in the top three. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't necessarily need to see it again in this portfolio. Yeah. So I think, you know, it's just like making, I don't know. I, I'm happy with however we award. Um, I, look, maybe if we look at it another way, um, we, we are all kind of in agreement that we, we all, we don't know where they rank yet, but we all do like San Francisco Chronicle and Star Tribune, right? And so right. can we take the other ones out of the equation for now and just look at those two and, and rank one above the other, just, just so we have some alignment on that? Okay. We can, and then we can figure out where they land after that, right? But we know that uh -huh. one will stack on top of the other. Would it also help to, I don't know, kind of try to quantify how you all are weighing, how you all want to agree on weighing photo editing quality, like point blank, ver as well as like contextual? Because I, I, I'm glad we're having this conversation. I don't think you can... It's, it's hard to like view these out of context. Like mm -hmm. you kind of have, like we all just know the names of these publications and the resources that they have and their sort of aims. But how do you all want to weigh that? I think is worth worth considering too and could maybe help you here. Would it, would it also help if we were not recording this? to have a more blunt, honest conversation, maybe. Oh, I always forget this is being recorded. Yeah, I know we do. Say, I know. We do. Uh, I'm sure I, I said that. Like I'm just saying whatever I would say even if we weren't okay. recorded. Is, is, uh, just making sure that we're not holding back. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, just... I mean, there's something to be said that, you know, I do think that the photo editor's job is, in. <sighs> Part of photo editing is the act of conceptualizing a news story, finding the right in, hiring the photographer, directing the photographer, right? The snout to tail. So with the time with the chronicle, that's all commissioned work, right? With the Star Tribune, some of that, a lot of that's pickup, right? Not the Minneapolis Don't, work, I assume. Not the Minneapolis but, work, yeah. but the. So that's kind of a slightly different muscle, yeah. which I but love DC seeing. work, I assume a lot of it is. Yeah, uh -huh. which I love seeing. And I think that that's like, I for me, like when people are giving us the pictures of the year, that's what they're demonstrating. It's like, this is how we look at pickup ultimately. But you were also saying that when we looked at the coverage the uh, Star Tribune did on the insurrection, even though they were using a lot of like AP pictures and you know pictures that they picked up from the wires, you like the way that they played them, and that to oh, me yeah. speaks to the picture editor, yeah. you know, and design. Yeah, um, yeah. So, I'm saying they're both. Uh, I'm, I'm not even making a case. I'm just talking. Apologies. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, and I okay, think that, uh, go ahead. Sorry, uh, no, uh -huh. I was just gonna say I think. What's stopping me from, it's kind of what I said earlier. I, th I think the stuff they do really well, they did really well. Like the stuff, uh, all the local coverage on the protests and the trials, they did amazing, phenomenal job on that. But I think where it comes up short for me is some of the groupings of images, um, some of the selections of, you know, why, 
why group like these three images instead of just having one strong image? Um, there is no difference in weighting of the images either. They're all kind of the same size and they're just photo stacks. And to me, that that is a that's a notch, right? And then I'm looking at that portfolio and I'm thinking there's three stories I would not have included. That's another notch. And then these notches are starting to add up to the point where I think, okay, well, the Chronicle was disciplined. They had a tighter portfolio. Yes, I wish there was more in there, but there is a strength in knowing what makes a good collection and your best presentation, right? And now, and, and with the Tribune, it's like, that's those notches that are stacking up for me, where it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I love this. This is bugging me. And that crop is bugging me. And this pairing of photos is bugging me. And this story doesn't feel like it should even be in this portfolio. And these notches are stacking up enough for me that it's knocking it down. And I yeah, think I'm a number of, but I think a number of things you just said about the Star Tribune are also true of the Chronicle. And I love a lot of the Chronicle stories, but you know, it's just what we were saying yesterday. That if you look at some of the layouts that a lot of those pictures are the same size also. And a lot of, we looked at, you know, a number of those horizontals that are very similar in terms of scale and, you know, the person taking up the same amount, amount of room within the frame in like four pictures in a row, whatever. So that speaks to the editing too, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Is this starting to feel like a tie? I was gonna ask, is that allowed? Unfortunately, it is not a lot. Of course not. <laughs> Damn it. We can't do two seconds and no third or two first or nothing like that. Correct. We're trying to be a bit more disciplined about that. So okay. one, one each we can award. I mean, to me, some of the choices that the made in the Star Tribune just really outweigh what might be more expected that you know you see in the Chronicle, which and again, I think those stories are very strong, but it's kind of almost the minimum of what I expect in a paper of that caliber, you know, yeah. in terms of mm -hmm. the empathy and and I totally admire, you know, the amount of dedication that went into some of the long-term um, projects that they worked on. But I just feel like, you know, to see day after day, you know, there's just more cumulative sense that the Star Tribune was having to make these tough choices, you know, about things that were just happening right there. And that so often they went for a choice that was not as expected. And I actually think some of the groupings, like there was one that is indeed a stack of images, three images that were the same size, but I thought they really worked very effectively one on top of the other just to create mood. They weren't even about making editorial points, you know, mm. but they were just about creating mood. And then some of those full page verticals, I mean, like that one that they left out of the edit yesterday, I thought was an incredible picture. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the yeah. horizontal of the guy with the cell phone showing, you know, convicted, convicted, you know, it just, awesome. I mean, it's just yeah. a different way of showing what we've seen so much before and yet still getting in that emotion that we all kind of felt, you yeah. know, so. Yeah. I think that's that's kind of where I'm talking about the notches though, like that cell phone layout you just described, that, that mm -hmm. is a winner. That mm -hmm. really worked for me. But then I look a couple of pages later and I see the story about the nurse um, in the hospital and that mm -hmm. did not work for me at all. And so then I'm looking at these and thinking, this is obviously your portfolio. So this is what you are telling me is your identity, right? Like this is our best work. And I look at these side by side and I say, this is like, gangbusters and this right here should not have been in the portfolio and that's happening enough times for me where that I keep adding a you know a matchstick to the pile and it's like the pile keeps getting bigger and bigger and I have this great thing over here but then I have to weigh it against the other stuff that's can in the portfolio. I, can I play say I'm, I, I totally hear you I hear both all of you I'm happy with wherever we land but I'm going to place an, a layout from the chronicle in the slack because I needed to see it large in order to actually appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, right. I and I it. feel like this choice is like magnificent. <laughs> um, <laughs> as far as the like, it just feels, first of all, we didn't see that second, I mean, 
it just I spoke to the moment. Um, but don't you think you could do that with any number of layouts from the Tribune as well? Uh, probably. I'm just saying this is like this is the breaking news. If if we're saying like this is breaking news in the local community. Mm -hmm, right. So this is breaking news in the local community. It's like a they, this is a single spread, um, not a long. Right. Right. Long. A lot of their it's not uh -huh. a photo essay. Um, this is just right. how they're covering that day and the. Um, the fire of that day, you know, breaking mm -hmm, news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think both the just structurally like what's happening um with the three pieces of of visual on that front page i think is fabulous uh they all work together including the map i mean it's i just think the san francisco chronicle as far as just design the, the photographs are given they're just lucky they have like a designer who's giving the photography good framing you know throughout um but I just think of those, it just works together. I mean, just the line, the line in the um, fire image uh, and then the line on the road. Um, there's just some expert placement there. Um, but I'm actually, I'm fine with either choice for a second. At this point in the conversation, what are what are everyone's votes? Um, like, I guess who's who's advocating for the Star Tribune for a second? I would. I be. am. Ariana and Elizabeth, and Shaminder and Emily, are you still advocating for the Chronicle for a second? I I am, but I'm also just thinking about what everyone said right now. And it, it is making me really think it. But I think in in, in, in this moment, I, I'm still thinking SF Cron, but I'm, I am inching towards Star, actually. So that's a tough I, one. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to force us to to still make the decision in the next, like, right. maybe 15 minutes. I guess if we, you were to weigh the, the, the excellent points of both next to each other, what would those be? I guess if we were looking at celebrating what they did well, and how would we weigh that? I mean, for the Chronicle, for me, it's the fact that they have such dedication to long-term projects and they have real intimacy with the people they're covering and they're, you know, spend so much time with them and they're able to show, you know, the real emotion and struggles of their lives and to render it in, you know, some really beautiful photography. So I, I definitely feel that. It's just that I'm weighing it against the Tribune, which also had to cover a lot of kind of hard charging news just happening right there. And I think they just were really smart about making some of their choices. And, you know, as Oriana said yesterday too, they're not afraid to kind of say what they think something is, you know, whether if it's really an insurrection and making photo choices that back that up. Okay. Can I just see the tribute as, as as a contact sheet one last time? I mean, even if you look at the second image, you know, it has a little bit of second front. It has a little bit of that sense that we saw in that other protest picture where there's just that, you know, it's a confrontation and you see that real emotion in that person's face on the right, you know, just, I don't know, I just, that, I thought was strong. And then another, um, if we, sorry, if we go back to the context sheet. Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, 
you know, like I'm betting that fourth one, I'm betting that's one where you think, or what you, you may have been citing as an example of, you felt like the layout was not that interesting and they're just stacking pictures. But to me, that's what I'm talking about, where they, I think they actually selected three images. If we could, sorry, go to that page. So this is actually side. one of the ones where I think it works. Okay, because I, yeah. I just like the fact that somebody selected three images that had that same kind of feel, like almost, you know, otherworldly kind of like, oh my God, this could this really be happening feel. And they feel very unified in terms of the um, visual effect, you know, mm -hmm. to me. So. Yeah, no, this is one of the ones where it definitely works, but there's some, yeah. like if we look at the context sheet, there are some, some pages where I wonder if it could have been stronger with fewer images. Like and and I down. don't disagree at all. But yeah. I, I think uh, that's like, that's a question that we've had across the board for all of these entries. There are some spreads that could have gone, there are some stories that could have gone. Um, I don't think any one of these submissions is just like super perfect in that way. Mm -hmm. um, so again, for me, I think to articulate what Elizabeth said, all of these are all so strong. So for me, what I'm focused on is like, who's taking the big risks here? Because that is also a function of the news. That is also a function of a photo editor or a picture editor. And I feel like by and large, the Star Tribune is doing that better than everyone here. I don't know if I see that. I, I don't see them taking big risks. I see them doing <laughs> You don't think a really... putting a, a noose next to a picture of the Capitol is a risk? I think they probably got a lot of blowback like, for that. I want to see who else so ran I, I that saw this photograph. photo a lot. Yeah, but a lot of people everywhere. would not, a lot of people would not have put that on their front page. Exactly. Like, I think that's the thing that's really important here to weigh is people, like all of these publications are making very specific decisions about how they are illustrating what is incredibly important, momentous news in an era where history is actively being revised and newspapers are helping that revision. And here you have a newspaper that's saying, no, we want to maybe play a different role and maybe be a little more on the nose because these are issues that we actually need to be more on the nose and be more clear about. That there is not room to necessarily paint some of these things as either benign or to you know, fall back on like the more artistic image, which doesn't really help the viewer or the reader get an actual sense of what's happening. I think this is also a little bit what I'm missing from the Chronicle is that some of the really, um, maybe some of the more political stuff that was happening, mm -hmm. you know, it's like mm -hmm. if they're not covering, and I could be just misremembering, but if they're not covering like Black Lives Matter, you know, is that? They had the inauguration cover, but I don't know if they had anything about Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter. That yeah. seems like a glaring omission. So in a it's year just, where like that dominates news yeah i'm just missing a little bit of the weight you know in the in what was submitted and you know maybe they have it and just didn't and or maybe i'm just not remembering if it was submitted but it's like you know even just looking at right there and the the first and second just i don't know the, the woman looking out the window you know, i don't know it's just there's just something about the drama of that it's almost like a still from a movie or something I don't know, it, you know, it's not sort of people setting things on fire, which I'm sure they also probably publish a lot of those pictures, but it's just a slightly different way of looking at it. But there's some real nuance. What about the, I mean, cause we had to consider all the whole page, right? So what about the mug shots on this page? I mean, if they had, if it's what they have, you know, I guess they didn't have to run it at all, but. That, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. They didn't, but it also kind of feels important in an era where we're talking about police being held accountable for abuses of power. And we typically, you know, get pictures of them in their uniforms or we don't get pictures of them at all. And a lot of the era in which um, there's criticism that, 
you know, publications run photographs of, you know, people who are black who are being arrested, but they don't run pictures of white people who are being arrested. I don't know. You know, like it's like that kind of hmm. the kind of thinking that's happening here is I think what I'm really attracted to. That it doesn't feel like those things are being ignored or hmm. or not considered. I have um, an idea to try and get a little bit more scientific <laughs> with our, our decision. Um, and I was gonna see if we can pick basically like three aspects of these portfolios that we wanna judge them both on and have you all judge it on a scale of one to five. So that can be like mm. story selection, you know, um, editing or like the edit, uh, you know, design or layout or impact. Um, I'll let you all pick. And then I, I think that might be able to help us make this decision unless anyone was swayed by the last discussion. It does seem like we're a little deadlocked. I mean, for the sake of time, also probably gonna be controversial. Mm -hmm. If it seems like everyone's leaning towards the Chronicle for second place, for the sake well, of time, because we have a lot to get to. Yeah. I would say I like, we're okay. Two in, we're, two, we're two and yeah. two right now. I would say but, like, okay. But I also but think we would be making a mistake. So, okay, but well, I'll also say though, that Schminder was saying he was leaning toward the Tribune going to second, so. <laughs> But you know, I don't want to put words in his mouth. Yeah. If you I was, all were, I was waffling. If you all were to pick the three aspects of photo editing to judge based on, on these portfolios, what can we define those as? Well, selection of the strongest images, mm -hmm. sequencing, I don't know. I think, I think it's, yeah, I think it's selection. I think it's how they are utilized on the page, like that's your layout, your design, it. Yeah, that's a good way to um, what they are paired with on that same page. Um, and then I think the third one would be, I don't know, how do you capture sequencing? Is that part of selection or because I feel like Editing. something that's come up in our conversations is everyone's approach when it comes to national stories or like big historical moments. But if that feels too, too broad and not technical enough. Well, I think in a portfolio category, the types of stories you include can be considered. I was going to say, it sounds like one that keeps rising to the top in this conversation is like story selection and and focus basically like some of the unseen work that goes into like photo editing right like you know how you decide where to put your resources and advocate for them mm -hmm. another aspect is just the pure art of it right like photo selection sequencing working with a designer for layout um, that seems like it could potentially be um, collected into the second category. And is there a third that we're missing? Or do we want to even just focus on those two? Could we vote on those two in the Slack? And then just like, you know, whoever gets the most points, like, that's it. That's who gets it. Wait, but let, let, let's cleanly define the question, though before we start ranking. Um, so currently I have two, two categories kind of sketched out based on what you all have been talking about. Um, story selection and focus and photo selection, sequencing and layout. Does that feel too tight or too broad? Is there a third that I'm missing? I mean, other things might come up as we're talking about it or as we're voting. But... Yeah. 
everything I think of it kind of funnels into one of those two. Okay, so what we'll do is a vote from one to five for both of these categories and both of these newspapers. Do y'all want to do this out loud in Slack? You can do it out loud if everyone's okay with that. Yeah. Okay. And Fine. to be clear, one is lowest and five is highest. Sounds right. Yeah. Great. So yes, that's correct. Why don't we start with why don't we start with the Star Tribune? When you think about stories they decided to put in the portfolio, focus of their coverage, and the sort of background work that goes into being a photo editor, how so would you book the Star my, Tribune? I'm sorry, my question with story selection is so does that affect, you know, the fact that we were talking about that the Chronicle didn't have certain kinds of stories included in that portfolio? I think it should weigh into that, right? Okay. Like if whether you feel like that dinged it or right if there was the portfolio by being tighter. It, it's it's confusing to me because it kind of cuts both ways because on the one hand I feel like they were smart in how they edited their submission and sending in, you know, really strong stories. And yet I feel kind of keenly you know, miss um, some of the political coverage, some or in some of the cultural, you know, and um, issue oriented coverage. I wonder if that's partially because uh -huh. they were trying to lean into their own staff's work. Like maybe they just didn't want to I, use. Wires. I could see why. I mean, I could. Yeah. That would make a lot of sense to me. You know. So. And I think in that in that case too, Elizabeth, like that would be you know. Depending on how you weighed it, that would be a point for and a point against in your calculus. All right. 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 Uh, because, I mean, if it just came to the excellence of what's submitted, that's completely the opposite for me. You know, it would come, you know, way at the top end. But then if it's in terms of the range of stories that is submitted, then they would be at the bottom end, you know. So, yeah. So it's hard for me to make that distinction. I mean, not to make that distinction, but. Do we want to finesse the two get the two um, like factors by which we're comparing these two then, or do we feel okay moving forward with the vote? Oh, I'm struggling vote. a little bit because okay. in my mind, I have to judge it by what's presented and not mm -hmm. get into the guessing game of what else could have been in there. Oh, I totally agree with that. I'm just saying that what was included in the Tribune weighs you know more heavily in its favor because of what's included mm -hmm. yeah because so, the weight of the stories right exactly and just a little more range in terms of what they covered but anyway yeah so but i i agree you know just in terms of you know how you want to represent yourself i think it, it was smart of the chronicle not to put in a lot of pickup work you know that's running all the same images from the wires as everybody else is doing so i think that well it might have been in their be... favor because they might have hit it out of the park oh well <laughs> you know? i guess that's true like i i know what they ran for uh, their insurrection cover <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> i kind of feel like i might have to sit this one out because of my maybe i don't know Maybe well, I, I'm I, filling in the gaps that are missing, you know? I think for me, the question that just came up right now, like if we can do, if we can zero in on if is this a criteria, that's going to sway me in one direction or the other. Is what is the criteria? Is the, is the, is the criteria the question of the breadth of the types of stories, right? Like what should a local paper be, right? And so the question becomes, Mm -hmm. The Chronicle did not include some of that national stuff, but the star did. And so if that's a criteria, then I, I have my not, answer. Well, that's not really what I was, I wasn't kind of thinking more negatively of the Chronicle because they didn't 
had that in it was i was thinking more positively of the tribune because mm. of what they had it in you know i mean i think yeah. it was smart of the chronicle just to include original material original projects that you know are really strong i just think that the tribune gets a little more credit because you know again it's partly happenstance that so much happened in their backyard and they had to cover it you know and they had a lot of original material on it on the blm you know but issues. they did do a i mean to be fair to them they did do a good uh -huh. job with that oh stuff, i agree you know? that's yeah. you know the weakness of right. their portfolio is the yeah. other stuff for me exactly not, not that story exactly and even some of the stuff that i think of as weaker if you look at it large it's fine you know it's totally fine it just doesn't stand out in the way that the a lot of the really uh, visceral kind of you know chauvin right you know that kind of stuff mm -hmm. stands out but yeah. i guess i feel like even their kind of the lows in their portfolio are just fine you know they're not bad you know they're just standard kind of you know um i, ha I have a proposal Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Emily's, Emily's so, relieved. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we all know this. Sometimes you have to step away, and you have to come back to it with fresh your eyes. Uh oh. <laughs> after an hour or two, right? So maybe we go to a different category uh -huh. and we come back to this. Yeah. We can. Yeah. That? I mean, if we want to give an award for like which photo editor has to deal with crappier crops and still make something great. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, then, whole, then Boston, the Star Tribune should be number one. Well, that's a whole category in and of itself, I think. <laughs> because these yeah. props are crazy. Yeah. You know, I something is, I don't know what I'm doing with my Zoom, but I hit the choice like not to see the little boxes of people who aren't on video. And I lost Oriana. Is she still here or did it? Is it just my, sorry, Oriana. I'm here. I thought I just lost you. No, I was in the middle of responding to an email for my shoot tomorrow. So I'll, I'll oh, be in I'm and out as I'm communicating, but okay. I'm, I'm here. Okay. All right. So I know this is a big category. It's sort of like one of the, I guess, bigger ones, if you want to weigh it that way. We have eight others to get through. I really want to shepherd us through that. If we are, feel like we're at a deadlock, let's pause here and come back to this with fresh eyes. Otherwise,